On behalf of OIA and the students here behind me, uh, we would like to welcome everyone here. Um, we are very excited about this opportunity. Um, I kind of joke with people already that our kids kind of consider themselves Brescia Bearcats because um, we are on campus quite often. In fact, uh, this group behind me spent their very first day here at OIA on Brescia's uh, campus. So they've always had a very strong bond with Brescia, so that kind of makes this especially special. Um, what we are excited about is our students will be able to take classes at Brescia to work on their um, associate's degree in different areas. Um, and, you know, I, I can only say I wish I could have done that when I was in high school, but for students to have the opportunity to work on their college class while still meeting their Kentucky requirements is quite exciting for them and for me. Um, one thing that also makes this unique is um, we have a very strong culture here. We're very small, we're very family oriented. Um, we know a lot about each other um, and we have a very personalized way of learning. We know what works for our students. We know how to, to meet their needs and um, I feel like that will be carried on at Brescia. They have some of the same characteristics we do as far as small, community oriented, uh, very personalized. So it's just kind of a natural fit for our students to be able to literally walk right over there to campus and be able to further their education. So um, I'm not sure who's more excited. If I'm excited for the kids or if they themselves are excited. Um, I know their parents will definitely be excited. Um, we have Barney with us here today on our bicycle and I'm gonna turn it over to Father Larry to kind of tell you a little bit more about that. So. Good morning, everyone. Um, as an educator, and I think for all educators, it's always excitement, exciting when there are new collaborative opportunities in education and that there are greater and more expansive opportunities for students to learn. And that's basically, I think, what, what this is all about. We at uh, Brescia University are incredibly proud and, and honored, actually, to be in this relationship uh, with the Owensboro Innovation Academy as we seek to move our community forward by educating our this wonderful group of leaders you have behind me and that are in this in this uh, school uh, working with our faculty working with our students uh, to get that associate degree in addition to graduating uh, from high school uh, at Brescia University we've got a lot of things going on there's a, a number of changes and improvements to our physical facilities and the students of uh, this academy are going to be able to participate in that, take advantage of our new health facilities, our new wellness center uh, for exercise. We all know that education happens best if we're healthy and we engage the body in addition to the mind. And so just imagine, uh, after a while, you'll be as buff as, uh, as Barney here. <laughs> Hopefully, you won't turn blue. <laughs> But blue is a great color because it's the color of Brescia University. And so we're incredibly proud and excited to be a part of this. I know our faculty are. Uh, we're uh, looking forward to welcoming these students on our campus, uh, making sure that they feel that Brescia is an extension of the campus here to take advantage of our facilities and everything else that we have to offer. And most importantly, to engage with our faculty and staff and to truly discover and experience the Brescia difference. Thank you very much. Okay, the next person that we will have up will be the DCPS superintendent, Owen Saylor. Owen, come on up. And I'm uh, very proud to be here today with uh, Mr. Matt Robbins, who will be the next superintendent of Davis County Public Schools uh, starting July 1. Uh, the thing that I'm so excited about is that this is another extension of the development of what has been an amazing collaboration between our school districts and our post-secondary partners. Uh, Owensboro is absolutely one of the greatest generators of collaboration around a P16 model. And uh, this is just another opportunity for us to take those steps. Thank you so much to Father Larry and to Brescia for providing this opportunity for all the students of OA. You know, we represent the students at Davis County Public Schools, but what an opportunity it is for all kids to be able to benefit. And again, an extension of an already existing program where uh, the vision of the leadership in these districts has been to expand opportunities for post-secondary while being a secondary student, which is amazing. There are many avenues that have been created and we're trying to meet the needs of all kids. So 
Give Mr. Robbins here a chance to speak about that collaboration as well. Yep, I would just uh, echo what Mr. Saylor has said to you is that uh, certainly the opportunity for us to work together, unfortunately that's unique, uh, but it's not unique in Owensboro and Davis County, and we're proud to be uh, part of the Innovation Academy. And let me say furthermore that this is an opportunity once again for us to be innovative. And uh, it's a model of what high schools are uh, both in Davis County and Owensboro and should be across the country in terms of trying new and innovative approaches for our students to succeed beyond uh, the high school level. So that's what's happening here today. Very proud to be a part of that and proud to see that continue moving forward. I don't want to miss an opportunity if we ever have a chance here as I near the end of my tenure to say thank you to Dr. Brake, to the staff here at OPS for what they've done in collaboration with us, Father Larry and all again all the post-secondary partners that we have here in Owensboro. What an opportunity it's been for me to serve and to also get to know these wonderful educators providing opportunities for kids. Thank you all very much. And since the temperature seems like it's rising, I will just say a few concluding amens to everything that's already been said. Uh, first of all, Owen Saylor, uh, this program wouldn't be possible without that collaboration. And Owen's uh, has been an outstanding collaborator. Uh, I will miss him because he has been uh, someone who was an experienced superintendent who I could always turn to as I was a rookie uh, and still feel like a rookie uh, compared to him. So. Um, very grateful for not only the work that we were able to do together uh, with this Innovation Academy, uh, but also the work that uh, he has set up for us to go forward with. And of course, Matt Robbins couldn't have been a better person uh, to collaborate uh, with Matt. I met Matt when he was the Chief Financial Officer of the Owensboro Public Schools, and I was the Director of Curriculum and Assessment for the Davis County Public Schools. So uh, we are naturally going to collaborate with our two school districts because we've both been uh, in each other's world a little bit. So I look forward to those future collaborations. Um, and Father Larry is right, and, and Mr. Saylor is right, the level of education partnership in this community uh, is outstanding. I remember it wasn't, you know, I've been in this community for about 25 years, and I would say about 20 years ago, if we would have made an announcement like this, we would have to endure an afternoon of other people being mad at us. And what we'll deal with this afternoon are our other collaborators coming to us saying, man, that's a great idea. What if we did this with you, or what if we could do this? I say that as eight of our students tonight will walk across the stage at the Owensboro Community and Technical College and earn their associate degrees and that number is going up. And so I look forward to the day that we can continue to see this level of collaboration taken to the next level. And I think this initiative and Brescia's support from day one with this program uh, has been just that. Uh, they've welcomed us with open arms, they've opened their facility, and they've adopted these students uh, with everything from t-shirts to um, literally, in this case, providing their, their space uh, as their own. So uh, it's great to be a part of the Brescia family and the Innovation Academy family and the whole higher education, K-12 education family in Owensboro. So Father Larry, thank you. Uh, and we look forward to further collaborations and we can take any questions from uh, the media. Uh, students, how many of you are gonna sign up for courses at Brescia next year? There we go. And I'm sure that Miss Benjamin didn't just pick you know, these guys, uh, I, I, from what I hear, this is going to be a popular program.